So first, let's look at the structure of perfectly competitive firms. There is complete freedom of entry into the industry for new firms. Existing firms are unable to stop new firms from setting up business. Setting up a business takes time, however, hence exit and entry of the firms only applies in the long run. Now, all firms produce an identical product in the PC uh, market. Hence, the product is homogenous. There is therefore no branding, no advertising, no innovation as well. So there are many, many firms on the market, so each single firm produces an insignificantly small portion of the total industry supply. So what does this result in for the conduct since we've gone through all the structure? Well, there are so many firms in the industry and each individual firm is so insignificant, each individual firm has no power whatsoever to affect the price of the product. Say among a group of 1,000 small producers, one producer decides to sell at a price higher than the rest. What will happen? Well, the consumers will just go to the other 999 producers who are willing to sell the exact same thing at the original price. The one producer gets nothing, so he can't even raise the price by a single cent. He also has no incentive to lower his price because he can sell at the market price. So actually, the demand curve of a single competitive firm is a horizontal demand curve. At every quantity, he can only sell at one single price. This is the demand curve of the firm, and it's the average revenue too. Because the price is uh, and, and the price is determined by the interaction of demand and supply in the whole market. Now, listen. Here, we need to differentiate between the curve of a firm and that of a market. The firm faces a horizontal demand curve, but the industry as a whole, all thousand producers, still face a downward sloping demand curve. Then that's because they're looking at the industry as a whole. The individual small producer, the amount of demand he can meet is very little. He can't sell that much stuff. When we look at the entire industry and all the consumers, it's actually a downward sloping demand curve. It is just that the producer is so infinitely small and insignificant that to him, the demand is almost infinite. So he has a horizontal demand curve. Now the interaction of the market demand and supply sets a price and the competitive firm takes that price and it becomes his horizontal demand curve. Since the firm only earns that amount determined by the market for every additional unit of goods so that a horizontal line is also the MR. Because, well, he sells everything at this price. If I sell it, five of these things at $5, it is, um, the price is $5. If the sixth one, also I sell it at $5, well, then the marginal revenue is $6, uh, sorry, 